Game Studio. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to do a repair station behind you in a cupboard, which isn't going to be a cupboard, it's going to be a repair station eventually, hopefully. Anyway, that's what we're going to do today and then hopefully I've got something that's turning up in the next day or two, I don't know, and we're going to do a repair on because I haven't been out whoop, 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 metal detecting for about two weeks now, so yeah, because they're crops from the fields and my farmer's lazy, he don't want to come, <laughs> he must be a, attached to his crop, I don't know. Hopefully he's going to come this week, well I'm hoping he's going to come this week so I can get out there. So we're going to build a station, a repair station, in a cupboard, which isn't going to be a cupboard, and then we'll do a repair. I'll tell you where it is, it's an NES, no I won't tell you where it is because I can't even friggin say it. It's an NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. So I bought it off of eBay as a faulty parts only, but I can fix it. <laughs> well, I hope I can. Remember in one of my videos I said I had, I think I had an any uh, a SNES upstairs, which is a console after the NES. Yeah, I didn't. It's not in the loft. I've looked, so I must have sold that. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to pass it with some pennies to go and buy another one. But in the meantime, I've bought this because I want one of these. I'm not bothered by it being in the box, so I'm gonna repair that. Turn you around and show you what we're going to deal with. And then I've bought all the wood, got all the wood delivered and everything. So I've finished tattooing for a week. So I've got the weekend to myself now. So I'm going to do this. So I'll turn you around so you can see. Right, so behind me, this door here. It's a double door. It's a wardrobe. But this is a games room. We don't need a wardrobe and a games room. So the doors are coming off. And then the stuff inside it, we've got... Yeah. Hang on, let me turn that off. Is that better? Yeah, it's a bit dark now. Okay, so we want to just that. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit darker now because I took a bath. I've got one light up there which isn't adjustable, but that's max brightness. Anyway, so let's open these and we'll take a look. So you can see this is some of my old stuff. These are my parts, my capacitors and stuff like that. And then down here is where the other electronic bits are all just all boxed. And the soldering iron, uh, desol the desoldering station and everything is downstairs. And, uh, tool area which I have under the staircase. So we need to get all this out and get these doors off. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the doors once I took them off. I don't really think of that. Looks like I'm having a fire at some point. The neighbours will love that. I'm going to get all this out and then uh, we'll come back and show you what we're going to be doing. Well that took a hot minute. The doors are off. All the rubbish is out. Straight away I found a problem. When you come in the games room, the door opens this way. <laughs> yeah, you have to tear that off and flip it round and so it opens that way. But yeah, so that's off. Right, the cupboard's not this tall, I'm on my knees. So I'm just going to fill all these little holes and stuff in and then leave it. I'm not worried about painting it at the minute. I want to get the top measured up, get that built in here as well. Once everything's in, then I'll paint it all as one unit, basically. I'm going to build a box unit here for um, desoldering stations and stuff so they're not actually on the desk that way. If I ever decide again that I want to get myself an Amiga 500, I can leave it set up here to go with the games room. And then when I need to do work, I put it away. I've got my soldering station ready. Job done. That's the master plan anyway. All I'm going to do now is go and measure some wood. You don't need to see me measuring wood and cutting wood. It's boring. This is probably boring to you as well. So I'm going to go and measure that, get it all set up, make sure it fits. And I've got some 2B4s, 2B3, 2B3s out there so I can border it and then have to work top on top of that extra strength. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Right. One of the boards I'm going to use, well, it is the board I'm going to use. If you can see, it fits perfectly in the frame. Absolutely perfect. Apart from these little door stops which are part of the frame and stop your door from closing in on itself so what I'm going to do 29 is the optimal height for uh, 29 inches optimal height for a desk 20 well they say 28 to 31 so 29 my desk downstairs is 29 so this is going to be 29 the other one I used to have downstairs that was 29 so I'm having it as 29 basically 29 inches up to here 
and I'm going to cut a notch out of this door stop bit just a 20mm 20, 20 notch right across and then the same on the opposite side level 29 cut across and then this will slide in into those notches and it'll give it support this end I'll put a batten across the back which this will sit on top of and I can build a little uh, H frame under this for extra support across the just case put a monitor or something on it might sag and bow a bit I mean this is 18mm thick it won't sag and bow but just in case I'm knackered already I haven't even started yet so I'm just going to measure up 29 give this some weight right one notch two notches I'm going to slide the board in, hopefully, if I measured right, it should slide in, ish, it might be a bit tight. So we get the board in, which is the better side, which is this side. Just slide it up, put that in that notch, then that into that notch, and it should, now, it should give me splinters left, right and centre. Fits like a glove. I know Jay Simpson glove, but it fits. Wait. Yeah. Now, batten at the back of the wall. Just keep it up so it doesn't down. A million splinters. Yeah. Should have sanded this before I'm ready because I don't want to sand any. I'm going to cover everything in dust. Does that work? Yeah. So there you go. Now what I want to do is round these off, these corners, both of them. I don't want to run into these. <laughs> They're not going to tickle. So I'm going to turn this back out, trim the corners, sand it down so I stop getting splinters. Measure a batten for the back wall. Drill a batten on. Put this back in place. Yeah. It was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready? New trick. Good. Uh, just got a switch in the end. So. Here you go. Put your light. They can stick. Yeah. But they're not going there because I want to show off here. I don't like this, but to rip it down is to rip half the wall off. I need plaster the whole wall, so I'm gonna box it in. Gonna put another shelf here and then everything in there, so it's all hidden. Then the monitor. I don't know whether to get in like a little computer like I've got downstairs, micro computers, which I was using on the. Why you that bloody eye up? Those little micro computers you can get them for like 200 quid off of uh, Amazon. It's like what I used I used to use down there. I've got a main computer, but the micro computer is what I used for Amiga stuff repair. So I might get another one for up here because I still use that one, but I use that one for metal detecting stuff. Yeah, works. <laughs> yeah, so you said fill all the cracks and holes and stuff. So I've raised the little TV monitor up. It's got a little bay under here. Oh, oh sorry. It's locked. <laughs> it's a shelf. It's got my box of my uh, knickknacks, paddy wax. And then soldering station. Desoldering station I've put underneath. I've got a shelf, glass shelf for underneath the desk because it's it's a foot wide, deep. So uh, to make a shelf for it, one of these, it'd be out here. I don't want it that far out. So I've left it under there, and then I need to desolder. Just, yeah. And it's out of sight, out of mind. So now, just gotta wait for that to dry. Paint that. I might just, uh, might just uh, varnish the top. Keep it like wood effect. But other than that, done. Well, 
pay like I said. Yeah, I've already connected the PS1 up to that. I'll a quick game of worms to see if it felt all right looking at it. it. does. So what I'll do is get one of those little microcomputers and have that under here, I think. And we can still have the uh, scope camera, or I can hang the scope camera up here. So it's pointing straight down. So you'll get to see me working on it straight down as well. That's side on. So yeah, getting there. Yeah. I've got to crack on. I'm going to make a cup of tea while I'm waiting for that to dry. Don't take long. In fact, it's nearly dry already. So yeah, I'm going to have a quick cup of tea, sand that down, paint it, and uh, set everything up. See you in a minute. Ta da! Finished. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's due. The wall's a little bit lighter than what it was before. Yeah, because what I was thinking was if the wall's lighter, you know, the contrasts, the saturations of me. Actually, I picked up the wrong grey paint and went full Rolf Harris on it. And it's just Neil Buchanan, Neil Buchanan. By the time I'd noticed, I'd already done a big patch. So I was like, I'm going to have to paint the rest of it now. So, yeah. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's that done. So now, I can repair stuff. Here. Yeah. Uh, which I'm going to think to repair. So now we've built everything, it's in place. Not that I'll find anything, but package. Yeah, we know what it is. I think. NES. Blade's a bit blunt. I'm going to put it on the floor. So. Power pack. Game. Chip and Dales. Mm. Rescue your rangers. And. Aha! Oh, you can see. Ooh, nice. Bloody look. I'm going to have to find a better place for this. It's done. No, that didn't work, did it? And yes. Right, disconnect. NES board, top side, underside. Yeah, can't see anything obvious. Can't see any corrosion or anything. You have to take the the RF off. You have to desolder these two here. Taking that off will just reveal the underboard basically. If I show you, if I can. Yeah. 
see like that. It's just circuit board underneath. The only way you're going to get to that and there is to desolder it. And these two here and take it off. So it might be the capacitor, but I can't see the capacitor causing that for a signal. So I wouldn't do a reset on that, I don't think. Jesus. Took the cartridge connector off. I managed to get the screen to stay on at one point, but then it went back to this after a short period, so. This is just IPA, by the way. Ninety, yeah, ninety-nine cent IPA. Another combat. Just give them a clean. That's that way. That back on. You nearly do it. Ooh. <laughs> Don't move me on. <laughs> so just pull out of that. I wanna move me on. As soon as I let go of this, it goes off. Yeah. There's a board, replacement board, for this 6262 62 pin header, yeah. It's a different board, it's better. And it's not sensitive to movement, because as soon as I let go, that happens. So yeah. Because it needs cleaning, it does need cleaning. And some of the scratches need taken out, and then there's a crack on the trap door. And the squeakiness of the trap door. <laughs> yeah, at least we got it on. It was easy. Yeah. It doesn't need retro rain, which is a bonus. Because it hasn't been in the sun. So it's no yellowing on it. Even the controller. The controller's in good shape as well. It's just dirty and scratched. Which, very easy. For scratches, light scratches. A bit of hot air, very quickly, very gently. It tends to fade them out. Not too much because you blister it if you leave it too long. Right, let me get this put back together and see what happens then. It was to take out the 62, or is this 72? 72 pin adapter and order one. A new one, but not the same. It's a circuit board one and it's supposed to stop that red light from happening. It's where it's making bad contact. Well, you can just use a cotton bud and a bit of IPA and that'll do the same trick. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so anyway, that was easy. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take the lid downstairs and give it a quick scrub and wash. The bottom's not too bad. It's the top. It's just a bit mingy. Actually, I can do it up here, can I? I'll take it downstairs, give it a quick wash, and then pop back. Washed it. 
cool like you. <laughs> I can't get how um, unyellowed it is. There's not a spot of yellow in it. So it was kept well away from windows. I'm trying to dry it off before I stick it on. Look at it. Even the crack. I don't know if you can see the crack, you just about to see it there. Well, before I cleaned it, it was really obvious. So it was obvious just full of crap. Yeah. How much did I pay for it? 40 quid. <laughs> wasn't it, it was cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Remember, if you see um, an NES, if you see an NES on your uh, eBay, same not working, flashing red light, but I actually don't quote me on that. Just in case it's something else, but yeah. I'm squeaky squeaky. Yeah. I'll put that back together and in the collection. I could do a buy some more games or actually. I need to clean that because it's a bit, as you can see, it's a bit minging. One thing I don't get is why people sell stuff on eBay and leave it as grubby as well. It takes two minutes to clean something. It's not rocket science. I don't want your gonorrhea in my house. Well, not your gonorrhea. One on eBay or oh, whatever. Let's turn that off. Yeah, so my brother-in-law in. -law, um, Messed me last week. Him and my sister have sold their house and they're moving over this way because they live in Lancashire. Send me a photo. Is this any good to you? Brand spanking new Woody 2600 in a box. The box of brand spanking new, never touched. <laughs> uh, oh, go on then, I'll have it. <laughs> yeah, it's good to me. Jesus. He's. He looks after everything. He's even got the same car clothes he had when he was five years old. Oh, that was short lived. Oh, uh, that was it. Was that one, wasn't it? Was it? Uh, I can't remember. If you've been wondering what's inside them, Couple of run chips. No problem with chips. So the main cause of this flashy flashy problem, I don't know if you can see, is how dirty they are. That side as well. You can see over here. And definitely is it there. That's the cause why it's going flashing red light. It means you can't read it. All it is, fibre pen. <sighs> Not ragging into this, it's just doing a light scratch. I'll zoom you in a bit so you can see. So all we're doing is just like this, coming back down. Don't go up that way, come this way. You don't want to catch underneath these pads and pull them off. It's just a light. both sides with just one. All right, when you've done that, come on bud, a bit of IPA. screw the case down just in case it doesn't work but just be careful when you put it back in 
drop it down, power on. Ta da! <laughs> yeah. Um, right, um, need to turn it out and we'll fasten it up. Alright, let's clear all this off. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there's a game in there already. Yay! Lovely. Drop that in there. Sweet. Ah. Anyway, let me enjoyed that. Really easy fix. Keep your eye out on eBay. Faulty flashing red lights. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. From building this to playing with that. Don't forget, thumbs up or down. Don't forget to uh, tickle the old subscribe button. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Cheers. See ya. Right. I'm going to get past that bit. That was lame. Oh.